my school where we discuss different issues that affect us um, academically, socially, and business-wise. We run the Nigerian curriculum from JS1 to SS3. We have a sex education corners that helps our parents to discuss what their children and I help teenagers to learn a lot about sex education. We equally have our counseling corner where we discuss issues arising in the society, um, issues that affect our teenagers and our families. And then our business corner that help us to develop the different businesses we intend to go into or to fine tune the ones that we are already in. All right, this is an interactive section it's not a monologue section. Uh, we want you to go below the comment box and give us suggestion. Tell us what you want us to discuss and tell us how you think we can do better. Welcome on board. Today we want to talk about the reason why we set goals for our businesses. The reason why we set goals for our businesses. We've talked about how we can choose our businesses and other things. And today we want to see how do we set goals so that our business can do well. Goal setting can be productive if well utilized. And so in our business, how do we utilize uh, the purpose of setting goals? We want to mention at least 10 points on how we can um, uh, set goals. Reasons, 10 reasons why we need to set goals for our businesses. Reason number one is it helps you to push forward. When you set goals on how you intend to go about your business, it's like an incentive to push you forward, to fall forward, to move forward. It helps you to know how to better strategize, how to do things better and how to make progress. So it helps push you forward on better avenues and better opportunities. That's one reason why we set goals. The second reason why we set goals is it helps to hold us accountable. If you have set a goal on making 100 sales per week, you should be accountable to yourself that yes, I've been able to meet my goal of selling 100 of my products this week. So goal setting helps us to be accountable. And accountability is what makes you succeed in business. And setting goals is one of those areas that make accountability very easy and then another point is make you set priorities what are you going to prioritize in order to meet your set goals what is that that will come first to meet your goal what is that you are going to put ahead what is that strategy you're going to put in place what is that thing that you want to do to make you to push forward all right if it requires that you're going to meet other business owners in order to get your products to them, you set the priorities of meeting at least five customers, new customers every day. Remember that in business, rejection can come. But you cannot meet 100 persons and you are rejected by the 100 persons. And so you set the priorities of meeting new clients, new customers on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. That will expose your business to other people. So you set priorities. Then the third, um, the fifth one is help you check your progress. Now you've set priorities, you've tried to push yourself forward, you are accountable, trying to put in accountability in the whole thing. Then you're going to look at the progress you've made. I want to meet 100 customers this week. What is the progress made? I was able to meet 70, all right? It's a way forward, you've pushed yourself forward, you've been accountable to yourself, you've set the priority of meeting these people and you've progressed to doing something, you're not stagnant, you're not standing in a place. Goals help you to monitor your progress, evaluate your progress, and see where you stand at that particular point in time. And then the, the sixth one, it gives you clear focus. The goal you set helps you to be focused about the, what you intend to achieve. And so you are focused on 100 sales per week, that will give you a direction. If you are want, if you want to sidetrack, a, a sort of deviate, a sort of get distracted, the focus of what you have planned to do, the goals you've set, will put you on track. 
So it makes you to be focused on what you tend to achieve, to gain, to attain as you go. Alright? Gives you a time bound. You brought in 1,000 of these products and you want to sell it in two months. You set goals that I will sell this product in the next two months. Goals give you time frame, makes you have time bound as regards your products. So goals gives you time bound. You, are, you streamline it to the time frame you want to achieve that goal. If it's two months, you work towards that two months. If it is one week, you work towards that one week. So goals help you to put a time frame to your achievements. And then number eight helps you measure how far you've gone. Measure value. Measure your progress. Measure how far you've gone. Measure the number of customers you've attained. Measure profitability. Measure accountability. Measure progress. So measure is involved. You have to measure everything or put it all together. Number nine. Um, it helps you to see your success rates. How successful are you? How successful have you become? in the goal you have set have you been able to do better have you succeeded have you done what you have planned to what is your success rate what is your failure rate what do you need to do better what have you evaluated out where do you want to adjust and readjust where have you done well all of these is what goal setting help us to achieve. Then, goal setting help us to be realistic and help us to be achievable. You become realistic about what you can. Don't just give. Plans are not vaguer um, goals. They are things that uh, empower you to do something. Makes things to work. In accord with how you want it to go and it's it's measured by realism you make it more realistic make it realistic so that you can achieve and set it in such a way that it's achievable don't make it too large that it cannot be achieved telling yourself you are going to do 1 million sales is not achievable when it comes to some products but if you do it in such a way that it is achievable, you tell yourself, I'm selling 20 of this product this week. It's achievable because you've looked for the client, you focus, you've targeted, you are out there meeting these customers. And then you will be able to achieve that 20 sales. So you need to be realistic and you need to be and your goals need to be achievable and so we've talked about 10 ways that we can set good goals one push yourself forward uh, and that requires change of your mindset putting your passion um, try to achieve hold yourself accountable holding yourself accountable means you keep record keep track of events action is needed you take action to see did you do what you have um, plans to when you don't act you cannot achieve you tell yourself i'm going to meet 50 uh, customers and you're sitting down in your office sitting down in your shop not doing anything you cannot so action is required in achieving a good plan action uh, is required that's number three makes you set priorities number four help you check the progress you've made number five six um help you have a clear focus. Number seven gives you time bound. Number eight help you measure um, your source, uh, your uh, help you measure how far you've gone. Measurement of value. Number nine see how you have succeeded. Your success rate. And then number ten it's um, realistic and it's achievable. So these are reasons why we set goals. So we are giving you basics. Of how we need to set goals 
trying to put up a business, our passion, how to choose a business, and the rest of them. Don't worry, we are coming up with different ideas of how we can start that small business. What is that small business you are doing? What is that small business you intend to do? Plan for it, set goals. Try to put in these 10 points on the goals you've set and try to push yourself forward. Try to take action, try to set priorities, try to be accountable to yourself and try to measure how far you've gone. Try to be realistic to everything you've put all together. Thank you for being a part of our business corner today. Thank you for being on class online school. I'll see you in our next section of our business corner. Thank you for being here.